Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at Alto invoicing available for the iPhone and the iPad. Go ahead and open it up and we've already logged in with our account. So now we're brought into our main screen where I can see my client's listing over here on the left hand side of the screen. Now down at the bottom of the left hand side we have a few different tabs to go through. We're automatically launched into clients whenever we launch it for the first time. And then we'll see invoices where I can see all of the invoices that I've created. I have estimates where I can then see all the estimates. I have a time tracker where I can go ahead and track time and hours and add notes to that. And I also have my actual earnings from different quarterly, yearly, or monthly tabs up here at the top of the screen. So let's quickly jump into our clients list. Now these are the clients that I have that I can go ahead and invoice. To add a new client, just tap this plus button. You're gonna have the option of adding a client to an organization or an individual. Now whenever you add one to an organization, you can actually add the company name, and then you can add a contact person and even add multiple contact persons if you needed to. So that's really great when you're adding in an organization. You can slide this over here at the top to switch it from organization to individual, and then that gives you the option of adding individual people instead of organizations. And then you can also import their photos or even import contacts from your iCloud. So that's a really great way of adding in new clients and it's really quick and efficient. So now that you've added a few clients, it's time to actually start invoicing them. Go ahead and jump into the invoices tab. And what we're gonna do is tap on this create button in the top left hand corner. This brings me up my invoice template. So I'm gonna quickly fill out this invoice and we're gonna speed up the video so you can kind of see the actual process of doing so. Being that we've logged hours with this client, what we're gonna be able to do is import those hours into our products. If you don't wanna import those at this time, all you have to do is tap no, but if I tap on import, it's automatically gonna take everything that I've logged as far as hours with this client and allow me to do so. So I know that on a previous invoice, I've already added two of these. So I'm gonna remove those two and I'm gonna bill them for the top two. Notice that it's automatically added everything in as a product. What I can also do is just tap add product and add my own product here if this was something that I was invoicing along with those hours I've logged. Notice everything automatically dynamically fills over in the total side. So being that I put a quantity of two, a unit of hours, and then I put in a price, notice it automatically adds all that together to give me a total. Now notes, we have a default template that we've filled in for notes which just says thank you for now, but I can come in here and add in my own notes if I needed to. Now over here on the right hand side of the screen we have our subtotal, we have our currency is set to US dollars, and being that we're in California, we have California sales tax. Now if this client, we wanted to give them a discount, we can tap here in discount, and then give them either a dollar discount or a percentage discount. So if I were to give them a 10% discount, all I'd have to do is type in uh, until I get to 10. Now I have 10%, and now my totals will be reflected when I invoice them for this. Now tap on save, and that's gonna save your draft here for your invoice. Now we can see the invoice that we just created up here in the top of the screen, it's the most recent invoice. Now I can see my invoice template. Now some of these are the default options that I've set up in the settings, and we're gonna go over that now after we've created this invoice. So we see everything here, our total, even our tax and discount, and now I have all my notes and all the information down below. Now that I'm ready to, just tap send, and this will send that client an email. So we can see the to, the from, and we can even add any more recipients if we needed to, and I see my basic invoice template. I can edit any of the details in this template just by tapping in here down below and go ahead and fill everything in. But if I'm happy with this, all I have to do is tap the mail icon in the top right hand corner of this pop out and it's gonna send that invoice off to my client. Now as I mentioned, this was my invoice template. Tapping on the settings in the top left hand corner, if I come into defaults, these are all the defaults for my templates. Notice my hourly rate, I have invoice orders, estimate orders, I can even change my currency, due dates, taxes, and even keywords and notes down below. So as I go through each one of these, we see template here, I can choose my default template for all my invoices. If I'm happy with the one that I've chosen, all I have to do now is tap the back arrow in the top left hand corner. 
I can end my hourly rate. So here I can enter my hourly rate, my currency. So I can choose from a bunch of different currencies. And you see these are all the supported currencies within Alto Invoice. I have my invoice due date so I can do upon receipt, seven days, 14, 30, or 60 days. We can enter in taxes. So these are custom taxes that we can add in. If I was not in California, I could choose not to charge sales tax or I can actually input my California sales tax by looking that up. We have product keywords so I can see all the product keywords that we have and I can even add in my own keywords by tapping on the plus button up there in the top right hand corner. We have notes, so these are default notes that I can input in here, so if I would just go ahead and type these notes, those would always enter into the notes section of any invoice. The same thing with invoice notes, you can see I have my invoice notes and we saw that earlier, it said thank you, that was my default template. We have payment details where I can go ahead and just enter in some payment details, such as make checks payable to, or how to wire in instructions or using any one of my payment methods. So now if I come back out, we'll go ahead and open up the settings again. Notice I have apps down below. This is going to allow me to sync up with some apps such as Stripe, PayPal, and even Square Cash to where I can receive payments digitally from the invoices. And I can also link up with GitHub and Slack if I happen to use those services as well. So there's a lot of different options in here on how to link up invoices and get paid. So this is really cool that I'm doing all this directly from my iPad. I'm creating invoices, sending off invoices, and then I can go ahead and get paid really quickly. And the last few sections we're going to go through real quick will be the estimates. And the estimates are working the same way that we did with an invoice. Tap the create button. You see the same basic template that we had with our invoice. This is just an estimate. And so I can add in all my notes, even add attachments and everything here with inside of the estimate. Now the time tracker is really cool because I can come in here, tap the create button and actually track my hours. So if I did something that was two hours and 30 minutes, all I have to do is tap in there. We'll choose our client. I'll add any notes. And notice with any of these notes, what I can do is I can use the keyboard to type in, or I can even choose some of my keywords. So if this was a creative research and development, I can add all that in. And I have web design that I just tapped in there as well. I can add attachments and I can choose to add files from Dropbox, GitHub, or even my actual camera. So that's really great to go ahead and link all that stuff together. Once I've done that, just tap save. And now this is going to save and notice that this client specifically, I've logged 16 hours and I can see all the build hours down below. So I get all the information for how many hours I've been able to actually bill. And then the last tab again is going to be our quarterly earnings and I can choose monthly, quarterly or yearly up here in the top left hand corner. So once again, this application is called Alto Invoices. If you like it, pick it up in the app store for your iPhone and your iPad.